Okay, so we have a question right here. It basically says that a steel object is held by an electromagnet. The magnetic force prevents the steel object falling. State two reasons why the weight of the object and the force from electromagnet are not a Newton third law pair. So I will explain you through an image, right? Which is, this is a wall, right? And this is you. Now you push the wall so your force is going towards your right side basically the right side and what will happen that the wall will exert the same amount of force to you which is towards your left side right basically this is simply the Newton's third law pair right so what is actually happening here two things are happening right one is that you receive the same amount of force same type of force right same type of not amount basically same type of force right same type of force and basically second point is it's acting on different objects right so this is your f1 and f2 yeah this is acting on different objects acts on different objects or bodies you can say different bodies right so now let's see what is meant by this particular question and why it's not a pair of Newton third law so as you can see they have also given us the image here right so we can use with the help of this image that basically you have electromagnetic force which is preventing you from falling right this is preventing you from falling which is giving you an up magnetic force right here and you have a weight which is acting actually downwards right let me draw it a different color as well magnetic force your weight right magnetic force right so now you can see that the same object basically this steel object is receiving the different type of forces right different type of forces right which violates the first stuff right that we have discussed before now the second thing that it violates it's, it's acting on a single object right the two forces are acting on a single object right acts on the same object right that's why it's a new not a Newton's third law pair so you have to just simply say it over here as well basically it is let me write it in a fresh page okay so basically it is they act on the same object which is the steel object steel object okay and they and if basically not say let's not say they the forces are not the same type of forces right basically there is gravitational force from which the weight comes from right and the electromagnets force which is the magnetic force magnetic force right okay so part b says that the electromagnet is suspended from a support by a steel cable as shown when the object is suspended the strain in the cable is 3 times 10 to the power minus 4 calculate the young modulus of the steel in the cable cross sectional area is given unstretched length is given which is basically the original length and the stiffness of the cable is given so let me write the young modulus formula which is young modulus is equals to stress by strain okay now you have strain you need to find stress how will you find stress stress is force by area now you have the cross-sectional area now you need to find force how will you find force so from the given data I can see they are they have given a stiffness right so we can use the formula of hooks law formula basically which is f is equals to k delta x where k is stiffness and delta x is extension so where i will get the extension right extension you can get it from strain 
right which is strain is equals to delta x which is extension over original length right so let's find the original length first sorry let's find the extension first sorry so it will be extension is equals to 3 times 10 to power minus 4 times 3.8 which is equals to 1.14 times 10 to power minus 3 meters right so now you will use it in Hooke's law formula which is f is equals to stiffness is 2.8 times 10 to power 7 times 1.14 times 10 to power minus 3 you will get your value as 1.3.1920 right so if you convert it into the powers form it will become 3.19 times 10 to power 4 right now you need to input in stress you need stress so stress is equals to f by a which is 3.192 I will say put 192 as well right 192 times 10 to power 4 by the cross sectional area which is 5.1 times 10 to power minus 4 which will give you 6.26 times 10 to power 7 pascals right and make sure to write the unit for force as well which is newtons okay so now basically your young modulus is stressed by strain which is 6.26 times 10 to power 7 by 3 times 10 to power minus 4 so this will equal to 2.09 times 10 to power 11 pascals right rounded off so your final answer is 2.09 times 10 to power 11 pascals Okay, so part two of the same question says that the force extension graph for the steel cable is shown below. When the electromagnet is switched off, the steel object falls. The student states that the change in elastic strain energy stored in the cable will be transferred to the gravitational potential energy of the electromagnet. Okay, discuss the student's statement. You should add to the force extension graph as the part of your discussion okay so let's understand what is actually happening here okay so basically there's a steel cable this is your steel cable now basically it holds both the electromagnet which is this electromagnet and basically the object here steel object here now due to which when they hold these two things the steel object and electromagnet it stretches out a bit okay so now basically what is happening is that the cable stores an energy which is elastic strain energy right basically it's this part in this graph which is the elastic strain energy right over here this is all in elastic strain energy it's basically the area under the graph right so now basically when the electromagnet is turned off the object steel falls right now only the electromagnet weight is left so the steel cable will before it was stretched out a lot now it will contract a bit like it will go up a bit and be like almost this much length while holding the electromagnet uh, weight okay so now when it contracts it releases some elastic strain energy where does that energy goes that energy goes some of it goes to gravitational potential energy which is basically the electromagnet coming up right this increases the uh, gravitational potential energy right but basically not all of the energy is used in this process of gravitational potential energy some of it is lost in heat maybe in sound or maybe in internal vibration in the cable or something like that right the student said that basically that the change in elastic strain energy stored in the cable will be transferred mean he meant is that all of it will be transferred to gravitational potential energy which is actually not right it will also be lost in heat sound or internal vibration or etc right 
so we just have to basically write all of it all of the things that I have explained above in this discussion right so first let's write the discussion and I will explain later on what we have to do for this graph okay so I have written the answer already to save some time so the answer says that when the electromagnet is switched off the steel object falls reducing the force exerted on the steel cable the elastic strain energy stored in the cable is given by the area under the graph area under the force extension graph after the object falls the cable still supports the weight of the electromagnet meaning some force remains the change in elastic energy is equal to the area between the force corresponding to the total weight which was the weight of the object and weight of the electromagnet and the force corresponding to just the weight of the electromagnet right there was a change in elastic energy between these two the gpe gravitational potential energy gained by the electromagnet is given by the weight of the electromagnet times the extension it's given in the you have to basically write the uh, formula because uh, the mark scheme said to write them up so I wrote it electromagnet times the ex uh, weight of the electromagnet times the extension this is represented on the graph as the area of triangle since the area under the graph representing the change in elastic strain energy includes both a rectangle and a small triangle the total energy is greater than the increase in electromagnet uh, gravitational potential energy right therefore not all of the release strain energy is transferred to the gravitational potential energy of the electromagnet some energy may be converted into other forms so let me explain the graph as well because i have wrote some lines about the storm triangle and the area of rectangle right so let me explain the graph as well the graph is basically the small rectangle is the basically some of the energy that was you know gone to the surrounding maybe it was gone to in the heat form or other form the area of triangle basically represent the change in gpe basically the gravitational potential energy right when the basically the electromagnet went up the gravitational potential energy increased a bit okay and this is the weight of the gravitation uh, the weight of the electromagnet right it, dec uh, it decreased from the total weight till the weight from electromagnet that's all you have to explain so this is your final answer right you can write it in your own words as well 